Okay, you've probably heard of financial prenups offering protection after divorce. What about emotional prenups meant to prevent divorce? A research psychologist claims that an emotional prenup may be the key to lasting marriages. And she joins us more, with, with she joins us live rather, with more insight. Dr. Frieda Birnbaum is here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Thank you so much. All right, so let's, let's baseline it here. What is an emotional prenup? You know, it's a prerequisite uh, before you do anything to make sure that you don't get a divorce to begin with. So why not work on the marriage instead of working on what you could get if it doesn't work? So it only makes sense to me to go ahead and follow this through. He said, she said, or whatever. We need to really get the boundaries. We need to know what to expect because there's simple things we don't talk about before we get engaged, before we get married, that are deal breakers. Absolutely. So, I mean, anybody that enters into marriage realizes really quickly that it is work. So, so how would we, would we actually write up an emotional prenup just like yes. we would a financial one? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, after divorce, women try to find themselves, men try to find a better relationship. Why not do it while you are married? Write down the things that are the deal breakers, infidelity. But the number one reason people get a divorce is because of money issues. What to do with it? How to spend it? Are you a saver? Are you a spender? And that can be really critical if you don't talk about these things before anything happens, rather than waiting to go to a therapist when you already have this conflict. So we need to look at this when we're objective, when we don't have any kind of issues with each other. We don't want to kill each other. That helps, too, a lot. And then we're calm as a prerequisite to be calm and to be objective makes it much easier to have issues that you want uh, to be taken care of. Uh, it's very important to have boundaries. How often will you see your in-laws? Or do you want to see them at all? Uh, what about travel, uh, holidays? Do you want to observe religion? Do you want children? Uh, we can go on and on. You can make your own contract as well. Uh, are you a dirty fighter? Do you bring in-laws or history into this picture? Uh, do you give a silent treatment? Are you an attacker, spender, saver? All these things that come into relationships that we're not prepared for, and those are the things that get us in trouble. I imagine some, some pre-marriage counseling would be helpful in pinpointing some of these issues that uh, you're talking about here, but at the same time, uh, how can this prevent divorce, and do you have evidence that it actually works? Yes, I do have evidence. You know, if you listen to your partner, uh, if there's somebody who's willing to compromise, and leave your ego at the door, don't worry about who's right or wrong. What has the best effect? You're in a relationship. This is not about your own narcissism anymore. Things have to change. And these are preventative measures that often don't come up within each, with couples when they are looking to tie the knot. They don't think that way. You know, the romantic stage is three years. Everything's wonderful. They can't do any wrong. Then bang, you know, Aaron set in, children, in-laws. You argue about who knows what. Because uh, actually, if you don't go back to the original contract, it's called transference, and you end up arguing about things that are small instead of looking at the real issues. We only have about 30 seconds left, but should we create this emotional prenup before we actually enter into the marriage, or is this something that we can uh, sort of, um, you know, massage as we go through the marriage? Well, that's a good question. You know, you can do both. The reality is, Arguing happens after the marriage. You don't suspect it. But if you don't get married, the couples are living together, that applies to them too. But it's worth knowing that with all the work, and marriage is work, I've been married a long time to the same person, I have to guarantee you, it is work. But you have to know that people who are married actually live longer and they're happier. So with all that we're talking about, all this tension, there is something that happens to you as a result of be feeling a support system, a feeling security, feeling that the other person knows you no matter what you go through because there's much more depth in the relationship as the relationship goes on, even if there's more conflict that you have to work on. Dr. Frieda Birnbaum, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay.